Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on with the series we have on PIP. So, alright, we are beginning to really get fairly advanced, so we're going to be looking at freeze today. So, let's just go ahead and learn about what freeze does. So, we've looked at installing uh, with PIP and a required file. But one of the really powerful tools about freeze is you can actually then kind of create that file. So let's just let's just look at it. So pip freeze actually help freeze. So all right, okay. Uh, output installed packages in required format. Packages are listed in case insensitive sorted order okay now it doesn't really show so this is where this is where this becomes very vital so actually let's get this up here so all right this is how you would pip free here let's just do this so here's all the packages that are currently installed right now in 3.8 we've been adding to them uh, as we go through but if I were to want this to come in to and I were to send this all out to somebody and then they would know so it'd be pip freeze greater than then let's just do um, package dot text so I want you to take all my modules and put it in a package.txt file. So I do this, I come over here, and I glance at this, and lo and behold, here is a text file with all of the packages that I have that I can then email or share and put on Git or however. Put it in my um, uh, package, my executable, that then the Python interpreter will, will pip will go out, download this, and then you can go from there. So this is, this is the building blocks of how we get super, super, super advanced. So we're going to be adding this pip series because I've realized that there aren't a lot of things out there. And I, again, I don't want you stumbling and bumbling and fighting and being upset. And we're going to add a, add a couple more things because we are getting that advanced and you're getting that comfortable and the question I can tell by the questions that um, I'm receiving so please make sure we're hitting that subscribe button please drop any comments or questions because if you have them somebody else has them and you can help help yourself and help the community and other people because now we're starting to build and have an open dialogue in the comments section so as always guys thanks for watching as always stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.